What's going on guys? So Fantasy Flight Games announced today that they're going to be having a new studio designed to create digital games, digital tabletop games. What do you guys think of this? Basically a whole separate studio. They talk about that it's not designed just to, you know, create new stuff, but also to help translate board games. It's kind of like going to do a little bit of both. Um, I think the obvious thing here, there's a couple of, there's a two basic obvious things as far as I'm concerned that this kind of translates to. One, Destiny. Uh, one, basically the success of Hearthstone um, has a lot to do with its ease of play and the, the, the ease of distribution, right? How hard is it to print off digital packs? You know, you're basically, it's just, it's just free money, right? As far from a certain, and after your capital and your initial investment payoff, it's huge. Um, so the other thing is, app-driven games. You know, this is huge. And so there have been some problems in the past, or at least rumors of problems with the rights to create digital games. Well, if it's a digital board game, it's different than digital video games. And I'm sure that that has something to do with the Imperial Assault app. Well, the reason we still haven't heard anything from that, I think this is going to help smooth over like the definition of what is what. Uh, and I think this is actually represents a good step forward in the future of Imperial Assault. Some of you have asked me why I haven't done a unboxing yet of the Heart of the Empire expansion for Imperial Assault. Uh, and the truth is I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, I really have kind of become disenchanted with Imperial Assault lately because of there being really no news about this app. Um, and, and so this is something that can potentially get me back into it. I know some other people that have kind of stopped playing as much. It's very, at least in my area, it's kind of dwindled a little bit. There's uh, there's really not much of a player presence for Imperial Assault. And especially with Legion coming out, it makes it much harder to, um, to, to really get into a game that feels like there's a complete counter for it coming out. Um, and, and Imperial Assault, you know, really lacked some of the things I wanted, most notably uh, an at, at And I don't know if Legion's going to be able to fit that on the table, considering the figures are even larger. So I don't know if that's even going to do it for me either. Uh, I really want Adats. I want the Battle of Hoth on my tabletop. And while Legion potentially could do that, I don't know if it's going to or not. Um, but hopefully there's even more things in store. My question for you guys, though, is what game do you want to see digitized? Uh, and if not any of their existing games, what would you like to see out of the future of, of a company like a, of, of FFG Digital? that's going to be able to create like potentially all new games that have a digital component. Uh, there have been a lot of games that have had success using digital components. Uh, you know, XCOM is one. Uh, I'm a big fan of like the One Night Werewolf, One Night Alien, One Night, or One Night Ultimate Werewolf, that sort of thing. Those are app-driven games. Um, any game that requires like a narrator that or a controller that an app can do for you is tremendous because basically one person doesn't have to effectively sit out of the game. Personally, I hate the idea of having to play the Imperial player and try to kill all of the rebels in Imperial Assault. Uh, and, and I love the idea that an app can do that for you. Um, or, or just anything for an app to be able to work as the, uh, you know, as just as a control mechanism for a game, I think is huge. Um, there's a recent game I just demoed uh, called Unlock, and that one has the, it's an escape room simula simulator, and it also has an app. Uh, so a lot more board games nowadays have apps as an, at least as an option. Now, what if they were to do something like X-Wing or Armada? Granted, like if you're familiar with Tabletop Simulator, those things already exist there. I'm not a big fan of the control aspect uh, to some of those games. There have been some folks who have designed uh, other versions, like uh, there's, there's one for X-Wing that looks really, really cool. I've played around with it a little bit, but I imagine the coding and the programming for each new wave and each new expansion for something like that is a significant undertaking because of the fact that there are so many more rules, so many more interactions, and the more and more you, you know, everything has to be compatible with everything else. So every new ship that you add, you know, exponentially increases the amount of work that has to be done. So I totally understand the justification for an entire studio here. I personally don't think I would want to play X-Wing or Armada digital, not, at least not very much. Maybe occasionally, uh, and, and, and if so, it would pretty much just to be to test out new builds, because I really like the social aspect of those tabletop games. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I got into tabletop gaming, because I was a video gamer first and got into tabletop gaming 
uh, as a secondary, um, and and that quickly kind of took over. I still play video games, I'm, and I'm stream I stream video games, but for the tabletop experience, I'm not sure. I'm totally convinced that it's going to be a complete winner for me. Um, one thing that I would like to play more of, though, is is Destiny. Um, since most of my time out is usually spent playing miniatures games, I don't have as much time to play Destiny as I would like. Uh, and so I think being able to have that digitally would be cool. I also hate having to lug around all my dice. Uh, so being able to, that was like, so I, a little bit of history on me. I start, I think my first tabletop game was Magic the Gathering. Like a lot of people are probably familiar with that. Um, I played a lot of Magic Online when it first came out. So, um, and I don't even know what, like if Magic Online still exists or how strong it's doing because I've totally gotten out of the world of Magic the Gathering. But I really, really loved Magic Online. It was a, it was a simple interface. Uh, it also helped clarify rulings. And that's one thing they're really going to have to get right uh, if they do decide to go with Destiny Online. Uh, but I loved the way, like, interactions, there was no argument. What happens in this? Which one resolves first? Well, you know, the game engine will tell you. So... If they have a really solid game engine, that will be a pl big plus. It also helps people learn the games. Like, hopefully, like it explains, like there's a sidebar or a log where it explains what is happening. Like oh, this happens first, this happens next, whatever. Um, also, I think it would have to have a pretty streamlined interface. It would have to run very smoothly, um, probably on par or better than Hearthstone runs, and that's a challenge because that's being made by Blizzard, who's one of the best gaming comp you know, best video game companies on the planet. So, you, you know, the, the, the bar is set very high. But if it's at least close to that in quality, I think Destiny is a fun enough game and they certainly have a good enough IP behind it to really make this a success. So I'm really interested to see how that is going to happen. I'm not super crazy about having to rebuy all my sets and packs all over again. Uh, but I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, also, I guess if you're buying them digitally... Um, there probably won't be any sales or you won't be able to get like discounts and you know bulk offers and stuff and maybe there occasionally will because there's no distributor in that case uh at least after a while you're really just paying for the cost of development and uh so I, you know it's, it's really gonna be curious to see how all of this works out um i'm most curious right now about the future of games going forward like are there going to be new games now that they can make that they couldn't before because they needed a digital app so Maybe, like, I, I've for a long time I've wanted some type of truly multiplayer uh, Star Wars board game. Standalone board game, like, in, in the style of, like, Rebellion, but that's more than just two sides. So, like, maybe, like, a contest of bounty hunters where everybody, you know, you can play, like, three to seven or something like that. And everybody's going after, you know, targets and, you know... Oh, Han Solo shows up over here, and we're all, and like, you know, three people are trying to go after him while the rest of us are trying to go after, you know, Boshek, and, you know, or something like that. Um, and, and basically, we're all trying to get the most money or get the best bounty or gr gain the most infamy, and we're all kind of competing with each other. You can make temporary alliances. I love a game like that. But maybe, maybe there's games out there, you know, maybe like that, or maybe other types of games that they've wanted to make, but they couldn't make because they needed an app. Um, I don't know, but who knows what kind of things this, will, what kind of doors this will open up? I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you want to see turned digital? Uh, what are you really loathing that would turn digital? Like, would that kill anything for you? But let me know, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Click the little bell for alerts, and have a great day. Yeah.